I can't be alone. Not because I'm a criminal or suicidal or emotionally needy. I can't be alone because I'm not privileged. I'm just poor and different enough to be treated, to be monitored, really, like a child. By poor, I mean I'm not independently wealthy. I need bank loans to pay for higher education. I rely on public transportation to navigate my city. I need to work in a paid job to survive. By different, I mean I'm not white. My hair does not fall straight. My features are not narrow. This is important because I could not have gotten a job without having paid for coaching to beat the video facial scanning algorithm used by recruiters. Before, being unemployed meant an algorithmic system rated me to have lower chances on the job market because I'm female and have no EU passport, so less resources are to be spent on me.
automatic deduction of 0.14 points. Are you between 30 and 49? Automatic deduction of 0.13 points. Are you in the 50 plus age group? Automatic deduction of 0.7 points. Are you from a EU country? Automatic addition of 0.16 points. Are you from outside At work, my computer has software to track my location, browsing, keystrokes. Working from home, I'm required to keep a camera on so my attention level can be tracked. My every word is overheard on speakers that I can't always turn on. from the great factor here, why is Amazon listening in? So Amazon needs a tremendous amount of training data to make its service better. Um, like uh, Google's uh, voice activated software and Apple's, they rely on just a ton of, of information on how people speak, and they feed that into this great big system that, uh, that comes up with answers to your questions. And then somewhere along the way, um, somebody often has to annotate that data. Um, you know, what did a person say? Was this word correct? Was this word incorrect? It's all trained on this giant pile of data, and humans are doing some of the listening and some of the transcribing. When I leave home, my every move is tracked by camera. My normal walk triggers predictive policing alarms. Therefore, I avoid in-person shopping, mostly. If I'm ever charged with a criminal offense, algorithmic decision-making systems calculate how likely it is that I will be a repeat offender and thus help to determine my verdict.
when I'm sick. My measurements of care are determined by algorithms. Algorithms that rate me lower and less sick than white folks who are equally sick. And then less money is spent on treating me. My face and gender are scanned and tracked in taxis and at airports so that the ads that I'm shown will better appeal to me by gender. And airport security can search me more efficiently while enforcing cis-normative binary body standards. I can't log into my own bank account without using a voice print algorithm. It claims to identify me by vocal signature. I can't get access to a good credit rating, despite my male partner having the same background as me. His credit is much better. I can't find out what is really happening in politics since Facebook, Gmail, Twitter all curate my news feeds with their algorithms and manipulate what lands in my inbox and what is hidden in spam or promotional or social message folders. I can't be alone like that episode in Star Trek, where there's a planet with no corner of space unoccupied. Except the problem isn't unoccupied space. It is unautomated space. It is unmonitored space. It is space unoptimized for sales purposes. It is the price I pay for not being able to afford a private getaway or an island where I can point cameras at others. This is the reason why all I can do is dream or sleep or escape from reality in other ways. When I'm dreaming, I can be alone.